It is common for people that have been discarded to carry trust and anxiety issues into future relationships. That is why discarding somebody is so unkind. Not only are you depriving them of voice or a say in the breakup and the ending of a relationship, not only are you blindsiding them, you are also affecting this person for future relationships. People that have been blindsided and discarded, whether it was by an avoidant or a narcissist, tend to carry anxiety into future relationships because the fear is always lingering. When is the next shoe going to drop? This new relationship is going well. Is this person going to blindside me? Is this person going to discard me? It's happened before. Do I need to brace for impact? And due to this increased anxiety, the person that had been discarded in the past can act like they're walking on eggshells with every single partner, always being afraid that if they are their true authentic self, that they're gonna get dropped, that they're going to get discarded again. This level of anxiety can make being in relationships very stressful all around. Always fearing that you're about to get dropped like a rock again, that you're about to get gut punched again. Because once it happens, it is so traumatic that you fear it happening again. That is one of the many reasons why discarding a partner is so selfish and so unkind. The person doing the discard, whether they're an avoidant or a narcissist, is only thinking of themselves in the moment. They're only thinking of their own perceived wants and needs, and they are failing to even consider the deep emotional impact that the discard will have on the other person. The complete traumatization that occurs. You have blindsided a person. You've pulled the rug from under their feet, devastated them, and given them lingering trust issues that they will carry into the future if they don't figure out how to heal on their own. It's a very selfish and self-absorbed thing to do. Narcissists and avoidance, well, they discard for different reasons, but the behavior is very similar. A blindsiding breakup without warning. The partner being discarded is shown little to no empathy and given little to no explanation as to why the relationship is ended. They're given no closure. It's a very traumatic experience. If you have been discarded, regardless of whether your partner that discarded you was an avoidant, a narcissist, a borderline, or any other attachment or personality issue, it was not your fault. Emotionally healthy people do not discard. They just don't do it. It is an unkind thing to do. Breakups sometimes do need to happen. Sometimes it's not the right person for you. But a person that's emotionally healthy will not discard. They'll communicate the issues with the relationship. They won't blindside somebody and they will show empathy and give this person closure and an explanation as to why the relationship is ending. Avoidance will give the least amount of explanation, sometimes just ghosting altogether. Any kind of explanation given is often, I just can't give you what you need. I'm not ready for a relationship right now. I need time and space on my own to heal. That is not much in the way of closure. So recognize that this has happened to you. It's a reflection of the person doing the discard. It is not a reflection of you or anything that you did wrong. So it may not feel like it, but when you've been discarded, you did in a sense dodge a bullet because you are no longer wasting time and emotional energy into a person who is capable of doing something like that, into a person who is not emotionally available for you in the way that you are emotionally available for them. Take it as an opportunity to learn what red flags to look out for. Take it as an opportunity to learn how to set and hold healthy boundaries. If you set and hold healthy boundaries, you can actually reduce your odds of ever being discarded again because you'll find yourself gravitating towards healthier partners and removing emotionally unavailable, unhealthy partners from potential partners. You won't be dating them because your boundaries are going to be your shield. But most of all, be kind to yourself. Don't blame yourself because if you blame yourself for what happened, you are increasing your anxiety and that anxiety will carry with you into future relationships and potentially cause issues for you in what could otherwise be healthy relationships. Understand what you went through. It's not fair. You didn't deserve it.
You wouldn't have done it to anybody else. So be kind and compassionate with yourself.